What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are still pretty much sparring against the Ottoman Empire and we've got plenty of firepower at our back to do that. We've got three forces here in the east arrayed towards Vienna and, and uh, Hungary. However, we don't really have the funds to do what we need to do and also we need to get our universities repaired, which we are doing. But apart from that, things are going so well, we're actually able to free up a third army to head west to uh, cover the new Spanish frontier. Apart from that though, we should probably just hit N10 because we don't really have much money to do anything else. I can't even build... Well, I could upgrade that farm, but that's probably going to get raided by this Ottoman force, which we could attack, but I want to get some heavy cavalry to get them... In, get them uh, in, incorporated in some of my armies and then more easily take out the uh, Ottoman forces. Then this force here is becoming mostly militia, militia cast-offs. Uh, I'm probably going to end up wanting to send them overseas for colonial uh, gains. Let's hit end turn and let's see how the Ottomans respond to what's going on. <laughs> Classic Britain dropping a stack off of the coast. So the army that's gone west is now going to head north. Poland demands technology and they're offering military access. I'm not interested. But let's see where the Ottomans decide to strike first. As it stands, I think... Well, we definitely do have the firepower to push towards... Vienna, and I really want, I really should, don't want to give them the the freedom to manoeuvre that they, they desperately crave. And also Vienna and Hungary would be a good fortified position to then dig in and push maybe against Poland in Breslau and towards uh, Gdansk in northern Germany. And also buy a bit of breathing space to go attack the, uh, the colonies and also give us some latitude to go and attack Great Britain because I doubt they're going to stop dropping armies off the coast. Good. They're falling back so one of our armies is going to advance towards the city. I mean, we do need, we, we need to start chipping away at the Ottomans otherwise they're just going to keep throwing in uh, blockbuster after blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. That rush, that Ottoman army has gone and attacked that farm. So what we're going to want to do is to use our army in Prague to attack them and push them back. We might have to wait until after that battle to get hold of some heavy cavalry because I don't want to impede their movement. But that means, at the very least, any damage we, we take to our light cavalry is acceptable. Okay, so... This army, with their own unit of heavy cavalry, can advance to the border. Okay, you were going to pick up a... Uh, you're, uh, so you're going to head straight to Mr. Churchill. Ignore the Morton. Ignore them, the howitzers. They're going to go over to Mr. Torber. You're going to lose a unit of militia and a unit of two units of militia to Mr. Frankfurter because you're going to gain a Curassier Reg Taxis and Hollenzollen Curassier. You're going to position to slightly to the north this unit of Curassier because Prague, this force is going to hit this Ottoman force and send them southeast. What I want to do is to drop. Some recruitment of more troops in Munich, because this army is going to start to steamroll east. We don't currently get pikes. Chevalier Dragoons. We don't get pikes or melee infantry or anything like that. Which would be great to hold the line against all those cavalry. Okay, let's upgrade the governor's mansion. Let's upgrade the craft workshop. I've got two grand. Let's keep chipping away at 
another garrison force here at Berlin in case the Poles start to get up to their old tricks. So you men position north of the Ottomans and then attack. And then we are going to pursue this force southeast to see if we can lure them into a decisive battle. But that means we do have two strong forces advancing on Vienna. Which if we can take, that would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. So, deploy my guns. Well, actually, first of all, let's... The enemy has a significant component of their army as skirmish cavalry, so let's form our... Form our line to maximize firepower. To a degree, there's Bashi Bazooks that are also advancing, so what I'm going to do is combine... You guys, you guys, plus unit of grenadiers on the right flank. Mass my militia together on one flank, my militia brigade. Put some guards and Freikorps on the left. Then again, dot our cavalry around to provide that support. General in the center. Make sure we focus our artillery onto their cavalry. It's a good amount of kills with one volley right there. If they're going to advance from the edge in, I will want my flanks to fold in. You guys try and blast the horsemen with canister shot. Blast that horseman unit instead. Good kills, good kills. You men are getting absolutely massacred by musketry. Very well, bring my light horse out round to the left flank. Hit my Madru Dragoons forward into the action. Ooh, that unit's just within range. Yeah, I keep my mercenary horse back. Val Dragoons charge the Bashi Bazooks. Just to tie them up. Like I said, because we know we've got some heavy cavalry on the way, we can afford to take some losses. You men form square. This cavalry is going to slam into my militia line. But I think in the grand scheme of things, it's time to... Maybe you men all jump on the horsemen. My Val Dragoons fall back. You guys form square again. You guys hit the Grenadiers, you guys have cast a shot, hit the Israeli. Come on, cause the horsemen to break. The first foot guards have done their job magnificently well. Fall my dragoons way back. Get my general over onto the left. you guys are going to counter charge. You need to get involved. My Hussars have caused a significant courage problem for the enemy anyway.
Excellent, so we've caused some significant upset for this unit of cavalry on the flank. Get my hussars running to the rear. Charge my hussars into the horsemen. Commit my weaker unit of cavalry into the mix. Commit my general into the mix. Actually, let's get my first foot guards to back up my hussars. These Janissaries look like they're going to be up to no good. Advance, cease fire the guns. Go on, first foot guard. Live guard to Barton. There's some more Bashi Bazooks on the horizon. My guns can both round shot their cut there. Actually, no, just kill my cav kill their guns with that spare unit of cavalry there. My guns can engage the Bashi Bazooks. But I think this is quite a good chain of events. Slaughter the Grenadiers, the Gunners are dead. Oh, chase down the Bashis. Halt the gunners, fire, my Prushenk horse charging in. Watch out, Bashis! Ooh, Prushenk horse are dropping fast, then again they are Bashis. Oh, they're wavering again. Ah, uh, classic! They waver when I flee. There we go, now they're routing. Charge my cavalry into their cavalry, which they are shaken. Yeah, just form up. Too bad that unit is so isolated. But everyone else is too busy mopping up other delicious units. So it would be great if you could knock out that unit of skirmish cavalry. But you're very experienced and you've soon got numbers parity. General's getting some good experience mopping up the Grenadiers. You guys come and help. Probably not needed. Uh, maybe you will be. Speed up time a little bit. Only this cavalry unit left. Which is about to get charged by the Dragoons in the rear. My Asars are winning. Just... Ah, oh, they routed. Sad face. Go after the Bashis, you guys go after the Grenadiers, and then let's speed up time. We are going to continue, because these are traitorous fools who forever dog our steps. See you later, Bashi Bazooks. Two units of a, was a unit of a czar that we didn't even 
have to fight. Ultimately, this grenadier unit is probably going to be the last thing alive. And they're about to go down. Two remaining troops, although there is still a unit over there, but they're probably going to route before my cavalry get to them. Oh no, we did get to them. Do a bit of damage. Not going to kill them, but we knocked them down quite significantly, but that was quite a good win. And we've got the... We've got the payload, or the, we've got the financial bandwidth to replenish. So let's replenish, but let's take a unit of militia. Send them to Jonas Frankfurter as the cuirassier advance to take up their position in the force. You men could advance and attack them. But I want to keep doing this uh, incrementally. I mean, ultimately, you need better guns as well. You've only got two demi cannons, but at least we're getting howitzer up. That's going to help. Apart from that, though, obviously, we've got this British force up here that needs to be destroyed, but that's not going to cause many issues there. So, Coburg is going to research. Join stock companies. Orleans is going to research naval techs because they're quite low level. Good. Okay, you're in good shape. Okay, I think everything's in general going the way we want to go. We can try and... Ooh. Hello, France. Let's trade. Trade not offer you 38 gold. My entire treasury! Oh well. Okay, let's hit end turn. My spies are continuing to advance. Let's see if that British army moves anywhere. That could cause problems. Yeah. Gonna hit my militia. Let's see what damage we can do. Yeah, we killed 583 men. My little sloop that could is going to get smacked. Oh, don't raid my stuff. I'm not going to attack. They didn't get to my port in time. The devils. But next turn, this force near Munich is going to strike east. Because that force that Ot the Ottomans have there is weak. See, they are bringing up lots of support from the south. But I think we're currently knocking them back faster than they can actually recruit new troops. So the mo momentum is with us. The momentum is with us, and I think the ultimate route to victory... Especially now I'm starting to get heavy cavalry into the mix. The question is, do I take Vienna and Hungary and then make peace? Or try and make peace with the Ottomans? Do I do that or do I keep going? I kind of want to make peace. So I can focus on something like Britain, or creating some colonies. That's what I'm quite interested in. I want them to pull the force that's to the west back to the city. Ultimately, I will attack it from the west and drive them back, and then this force up here will sit about here to act as bait to try and draw Ottoman troops out of the city. You are welcome to raid. I don't care about Prague's territories for now. And I will get another university, but I will immediately knock it down. Russia's gonna Russia. I'm just glad Sweden hasn't gone for Copenhagen yet, because I do want it. Denmark's fallen back. They would be valuable to take out, I think. Because they do, on occasion, raid my... Uh, blockade my ports. Okay. So that howitzer can't join the action, because otherwise I won't be able to attack that force at, at, that force at the moment. 
let's pull my four weakest infantry units that are replenishing and replace them with four fresh ones. So you can join this force. Keep replenishing. Advance to the north. Actually, you guys combine. Ultimately, could I use? No, you're in. You're in quite a. You're in reasonable shape when it comes to covering the rear. So let's knock out this advanced force, this advanced force, and squeeze towards Austria. Then the force that's mostly militia can probably redeploy to Brest and be shipped to somewhere else in the world. Probably the Americas to grab a few colonies, but I definitely do want to try and get Ceylon to bring war to the Mughal Empire on their shores. Okay, create a gun line to the rear. Create a strong infantry line. You need more elite infantry, that's for sure. So let's have a look at this cavalry. So the Hohenzollern and Curassier are new. And they just look they look pretty standard. They look good, but standard. And then Curassier Reg Taxi. Yeah, they both look pretty good. These guys have a bit more detail, but I like the colours of this one more. Hmm. Group them together. Although I think I might have put too much heavy cavalry in one army. Sixth Regiment of Militia stay back and protect the guns. Ultimately, the arm, the our enemies have not much capacity to wage war. So we want to anchor one flank towards those warehouses. We do want to run because we, we want to make good progress into the enemy's territory. Run this cavalry up fast on the flank. I mean, my cavalry, that's my artillery, that's some uh, experienced artillery. It's so obviously the demi cannons, well, it looks like they have much more firepower, but they're much less accurate. Just a second, everyone. Apologies for that, surprise cough. Uh, yeah, so they've got much less, much more firepower than 12 pounders, but they are much, well not much, they're slightly less accurate. So the first horse guard are going to be attacking the horsemen, the Val Dragoons can keep pushing. Horsemen are routing. Pretty, really, I just want to bait the enemy cavalry into charging. This unit of Val Dragoons can attack this unit of horsemen. Okay, so we can begin to try and attack the enemy troops. That's what the 1st and the 7th will be doing. Better late than never, form square. Yes, this unit's getting nailed at close range by bow fire, but when they're ready and start pouring volleys in, Yeah, there we go, the enemy force is crumbling. So 
As there's cavalry within range, you may as well try hit them first. Whoa, okay, watch out for the stakes. You go for the Israeli, you go for the Azar, you go for the Muslim. My heavy cavalry behind the line is going to knock out this unit of horsemen. Cease fire the guns. And we are going to continue. Just because it's in our interests to knock out as many Ottoman units that can fall back to the city as possible. The more cavalry that defends Vienna, the better of a target it will become. Okay, go for the Janissaries first. Rather than the melee infantry. Well, no, that's back to front. Ultimately, go for the Janissaries over the Muslim because there are more capable unit and there's only nine of them so you'll be more likely to take them out 13 Israeli infantry so they will soon not be long for this world down you chaps go this unit of Muslim are the last oh no they're not Janissaries thought you got away yeah Nice. Nicely done. So now this force can dig in and replenish. Well, to be honest, they might not even need to replenish. They're in really good shape. But I doubt they have the, the mobility. Oh, they do have the mobility. Very well. Uh, put the city under siege. Then bring Mr. Tobelman in for reinforcement. That means you guys also push up. That means Mr. Frankfurter can go west. Then let's take you, Mr. Faber, to attack the British that are dug in on our coast. This army may, may actually end up landing to attack London instead, because we can't let Britain uh, continue to cause issues for us off of the northern coast. So the enemy is mostly militia. We can create a decent infantry. Okay, right, actually, let's make my grenadiers and marines go here. The idea is they're going to take the town. A strong infantry brigade on the left. Strong infantry brigade on the right. Militia hold back. You guys need new cavalry. General, hold the ground. Those are enemy pikes. I'm not worried about enemy pikes. Push up aggressively. My gunners engage different targets to what you may choose by default. Yep, they're abandoning the, the right flank. Foolish. Cavalry up. I mean, if they're not going to even try and defend it, so the cavalry might try and make a show of it on the flank. Let's redirect our artillery fire against the pikes in the centre, because we want to try and knock out their cavalry. So we're pouring fire into the demi cannons, which aren't really doing very much. 
push my flank up. General's bodyguard is making himself visible. Okay, you guys deploy there. Marines and Grenadiers advance towards the town. Their general is exposed, so take him out. We can slam four infantry units right on their flank. Their militia is wavering from the resulting melee combat. Probably the musket fire is doing wonders as well. Withdraw. Withdraw at diff on different bearings. We want the yeoman to try and go for us. The yeoman hit one unit, dragoons counter charge from another vector. You chap cease fire. There we go. A bunch of them have stopped, which we can so you can thin out their ranks a little bit. Withdraw. Straighten out the line. We'll run up our cavalry because their pikes are going to make it to their to our line. All my elite infantry. Okay, first of all, make my grenadiers attack the guns. Although it looks like they might have redeployed themselves. If they procrastinate for long enough. We can knock them out ourselves. Yeah, you guys aren't ready to deploy yet. Get my grenadiers behind the lines, fire it will off. Pikemen are getting shot to bits, trying to work out who to attack. And the AI have finally realised they need to go on the offensive. So this pike unit's getting volley after volley after volley lashed down onto it. The gunners, that's their trailing team, it's not their actual gun team. My marines are fighting their pikes and they'll probably finish them off. those militia that were routed have taken up a defensive position. Get this cavalry over to attack the 3rd Regiment. You guys mop up the militia. You men advance up like so. Free up this Grenadier unit to bolster the Marines' ranks. You men mop up. Get my general involved as well. Uh, get my general actually over here to take out the gunners. The Prushenk horse attack the militia. These units mow down these routing troops. You keep attacking the pikemen. These guys aren't charging. You have to kind of run into them and then attack. Cease fire the guns. There we go, the entire British force has been annihilated. So now it comes down to making sure we kill as many of them as possible. Ideally, this force will be destroyed in one fell swoop. But it's always a bit tricky.
you guys go after the marines, the general will go after the line infantry. Keep doing good work. There's a couple of units that I've got that are fleeing without any cavalry to pursue. Make sure the general chases down the unit that's up front the furthest. The marines are about to go down, which is a, that's a good kill. I mean, militia I'm not overly bothered about, but it's just the numbers. Pikemen are a good kill. Five pikemen left. Now there isn't any. <laughs> yeah, these pikes have split up. There's some over there as well. They're going to take some killing. Once you mow down these guys that are near the border, oh no, they're going to run and attack that unit there, allowing this guy to escape. The last pikeman. But still, didn't really help him out in the end. All of his comrades have fallen. Nice. And they haven't retreated very far, so then our army is going to push in, attack John Churchill's remaining splinter force. Lost 500 men, allegedly. Let's repair that port, let's repair this, let's repair this port, and let's deploy two cavalry to ensure we don't lose those ports, or we don't lose the repairs at least. Okay. Apart from that, though, things are pretty strong. 1900 left to spend. Don't really know what to spend it on. Actually, I know what I'm going to spend it on. Something I should have spent on a long time ago. Yeah, cobbled roads for Berlin. In terms of tech, nothing immediately comes to mind. Ah, okay. Hanover. Right. You're going to be a trade port, chiefly because we're going to have, we do have military construction facilities on the coast, I've just not been able to really use them because we've got Britain right here and it, we need quite a strong navy to challenge Britain. Fleet destroyed again, that's quite a bold term for just a sloop. Okay, there's nothing we can do. Will you trade with us now? Nope, sad face. In terms of ministers, okay, we've all got some pretty good ministers. So let's just let it take on past one more turn. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. You just saw an entire army of yours get destroyed. You want to come at us? You're going to need to try a bit harder than that. I mean, it's only a matter of time before we see an army march up from Spain. <laughs> They, off, they want me to give them Saxony and Moravia. No. Sorry, Poland. You want to take my territory? You're going to need to take it yourself. So let's see if they, if they try and attack us near Vienna. We have a significant advantage in troop numbers. We could push on and take uh, Hungary as well, and then try and make peace. That would be worthwhile I think. Dig in in Vienna, rebuild, make sure the population is a strong Catholic, is of a strong Catholic bent and then we will be able to focus our attention elsewhere towards Britain and Spain and fortify our eastern front and expand our holdings in the west. I think that will be a useful proposition.
As long as the Ottomans don't break the intern phase, that is. <laughs> but overall, I think things are things are transitioning the way we want them to, and it looks like the Ottomans are going to be silly, so see you guys in a second when their end turn phase has finished. Obviously, almost immediately after I... Well, I, actually, I think you guys probably might even see it in the tail end of that recording. As soon as I chop the recording, uh, they moved on. Italian states are building up an army to sail somewhere. Pirates are pirating. Trait gain a good listener. Good. These are all of these. Nothing happened apart from my spies carried on spying. Okay, let's get back to building sloops. Here, let's build cobbled roads in Brussels and in Berlin. So now we're finally up to a common standard. Mr. Frankfurt, to continue to push. I mean, realistically, I want to get... Let's get a unit of old marines. Because this force... I'm not going to replenish the, the militia. I'm just going to combine them as we run out. Very well, then you're going to put Hungary under siege to prevent them from supporting you. Actually, it might even be worth attacking Hungary to prevent you guys from coming in as reinforcement for the Vienna attack. Excellent, these are the very elite troops. Are ready, so then let's take do the same thing again, take our weakest units out, including the militia, frankly. Plus that unit to a full swap. There we go. Okay. So here at Munich, recruit two engineers, recruit two, actually recruit one engineer, one fusilier. Actually, no, let's not do anything, because we, if we're going to be attacking Munich, uh, Vienna, sorry, we're going to be needing that cash. So, Mr. Tobelman, let's attack Hungary and knock it out fairly quickly, hopefully. I would like to try and get the attack on Vienna in this same episode, if possible. Just to try and seek that peace term and then focus on expanding north and west. Deploy the guns. Militia plus two up front. We don't know where their reinforcements are coming in from, but we've got plenty of cavalry to protect the main force, plus a good amount of proper infantry around the flank. Ha! Look at that. And there's a possibility we might even see some charges on the flank. Smash into the Janissary Musketeers. Concerned because they're attacked in the rear. They aren't really attacked in the rear. Let's also speed this up a bit from this perspective. If they want to try and attack my flanking force, they're more than welcome. Bashi Bazooks are in. Genesis Musketeers are wavering. Mow down the Bashi Bazooks. They're low defense. 
keep my general nearby just to keep the spirits up. My hussars have got chewed up. The smart thing to do would have been to form a, a defensive box. We're doing damage to these guys even though they haven't actually entered the field yet, technically. Hey, they did hit my big line. I'm going to lose a lot more men here than planned, but that's not really a surprise. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Let's get all my infantry to keep on... Keep on climbing. These units in defensive position will help protect against the Delhi Horsemen. There we go, we've lost a lot of cavalry, but we've knocked out those troops. Just a second, everyone. Sorry about that. So we're still making our breach. Horsemen are advancing towards the other you guys form square because they're coming at you get in garrison azar swarm swarm attack pattern alpha yeah, these are only azar Let's get my cavalry up front. You men all charge the horsemen. These guys are going to be way... They're all too far out of, out of it to do anything useful. Get in, men at the front here. All need to start running. Explosive shells are going off. You men are going to secure the gate. Stuff. Swarm, swarm, swarm. You men get over to the gate and try and just run in. Musketeers are upset. Let's get my line infantry up behind the breach. To be honest, I'm, I know I'm absolutely butchering my men, but I'm really not bothered about it. You men plus these men to attack the enemy mortars to the rear. You guys might even better run through the front door. There we go. You men knock out one mortar team. Get my grenadiers to advance towards the Israeli, actually towards the Janissary Musketeer that are coming in to reinforce the town. Oh, ah, they wait till now to not let us in.
You men scale the wall. You men get inside. It's another gate taken. So now you men are having to defend the wall. Keep attacking the mortars. Once these guys secure the main gatehouse, my cavalry that's probably about to break at any time now. Okay, you men advance to fire into the rear. Actually, both of you, to be honest, advance to fire into the rear of the combat. These men both kill that last mortar crewman. Maybe make one of you guys get into the command HQ. The other unit... Just take control of the central point. There we go. It's, it's an old reverse. Siege room. They go, now these men can just pour volley fire into the rear of this block of troops defending the gate. And then once this force, my lifeguards have gotten into the command HQ. There we go, starting to see a lot of waver in here. Good old grenadiers. Cavalry still hacking their way in. One of these militia units form rank. Into the rear of the enemy. Again, too bad we're getting sound shenanigans. Strangely, they aren't firing into the rear. Ooh, you guys stop firing. Grenadiers are broken up here, that's fine. These men charge up the hill, because to be honest, we've only got uh, 10 seconds left to hold. And you can see, ultimately, our cavalry have done well to fix such a large concentration of enemy troops in one position. But there we go. Hungary is taken. Huzzah! Huzzah and hurrah. There we go. So that's one of the two key territories we wanted to take. We wanted to take that and we wanted to take Vienna. It's pushed away the reinforcements. I'm not going to repair anything in Hungary yet because I want to save that money for attacking Vienna. Let's take the city. If we can take both these cities, we can then try and force a truce. What I want to do is have one force, an, an actual army in Vienna, a garrison force in Hungary, then one of those armies can redeploy towards the north against the Ottoman, no, the, the Polish frontier. Then we'll have a good number of troops spread out across our empire. And we've got a, a good amount of artillery as well. Good. So we've got an assault brigade who are going to hit the front. Let's, just, let's not go so wild this time. Let's just try and keep the offensive pretty tight. We want to attack the front face plus the shoulders. So this section here, this section here. Explosive shell isn't very good. Just keep my howitzers firing. Uh, round shot into the center. Just 
just keep picking away at the at the uh, keep picking away at all of those cavalrymen. My gun line itself is going to try and blast a way in. If we can knock down this, ultimately, this looks like we could potentially trap a lot of troops. Okay, reloading skill is the same, so they should fire the same amount, roughly. Also, firing round shot it does give my howitzers a bit of time to improve their experience level. Come on, if you knock out, we'll get a few musket Janus three musketeers at this rate. Although most of them did miss. Boom, there we go. Let's then go after that section. There's plenty of cavalry, and they've got pikes in here as well. Keep the howitzer fire on the cavalry, though, because the infantry aren't the problem. It's going to be the those enemy cavalry. They have no mortars, so we can advance and slowly ratchet the pressure up. Advance, secure the front face of the breach, secure both the gates, or at least have them covered. Then we can do our final assault. Killed a bunch of Janissaries there from that walkway collapsing. You might want to deploy outside of the walls if you think it's the right thing to do. But what's going to happen? Boom. Okay, let's push up. And then my grenadiers are on the left. One thing I haven't, I don't think I've properly looked at, is the difference between... The two types of line infantry. There's not very much between them, but I like to mix it up a bit. Make them a bit different. The first Grenadiers are doing exceptionally well. Experience level 4, that makes them not to be trifled with, one bit. And my howitzers are going to keep on... So what I'm hoping happens is, as I advance, they start to pour out to try and defend their territory. They sally. Which they may or may not do. If they do, then great. If they don't, then it's not a problem. But I, the AI is a, can be a bit dumb. Sometimes it kind of feels like it rolls the dice when it doesn't need to, almost like out of desperation. So, for example, if I push up this left wing and secure the wall, or start to secure the wall, they'll start to pour out. Because they know that what I'm doing, it has to respond to what I'm doing somehow. Actually, you guys can fire straight through the gap into the center and you guys can just Okay, so let's make sure that we are... Yeah, there goes the armory. Forgot to bring up my cavalry as well. My left flank is the most advantageous. Let's get my grenadiers here, the line infantry unit up top, and let's get another unit of infantry to cover the gate in case they sally. Here come their azar. So this section here is just going to be a bit of a swarm. 
Got a Janissary Grenadier unit we have to overpower. Yeah, those Azars aren't going to stick around for very long. Here they come. Yeah, look at that. Form square, because the cavalry's going to try and intercept the men trying to scale the wall. Then they're going to realise it's a terrible idea. But they're going to swarm all right. Engage the Janissary Grenadiers. But they're coming. They're coming. New men get up top. New men are going to secure the gate. So now they're not going to push through here. That's going to close. More infantry are trying to push around the flank to hit my guys that are trying to climb the wall. Get my horse guards to attack the horsemen, keep my cavalry behind my line. But yeah, once they leave the protection of the walls, their morale is pretty terrible. I want these guys to get up, get up onto the line, then man the fire step and shoot down into the centre. Make sure my howitzers are still attacking the right units. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that my cavalry would help out here. Everyone else, I want to try and attack the grenadiers. Ultimately, this wing might fail. Let's retreat you guys back to open up a better front. to attack them with my horse guards. In the 18th they're getting picked at. Who are they be who are we being attacked by? That's frustrating that they routed. Oh, they'll be being shot at by the horsemen. Very well. Run inside to just, just drop square. Then my cavalry needs to get in as well as my infantry. Get these Hohenzollern to attack the horsemen. The cavalry here, they cleared out the pikes. Get back here and around through this gate here. You just attack the horsemen. Howitzers attack. You need the musketeers. These men have dropped square, so they're gonna. The horsemen are gonna charge out. Get my cavalry in. Get my infantry in. They're winning slightly. We've still got more numbers, but it depends on whether or not they can push us back, which they probably can. Get my grenadiers back. Grenadiers back and form square. Let my cavalry knock out the horsemen. Bring my general up. The 
actually maybe get my cavalry back around here. Withdraw. Focus my artillery on this big block. Spread them out. Countercharge the swordsmen because they're already upset. You men attack. Countercharge the grenadiers. Now my cavalry's gonna charge them in the rear. You men can fight the populace on your own. Get my cavalry to charge the populace with you. Get you men onto the center square. the count. These three troops against one unit of grenadiers, it just shows how much damage that troops can do. They're shattered. Get my guns to not shoot at anyone. Get my line to attack the Israeli. Get my Hohenzollern in to hit the Israeli. My general will knock out the warband. Heavy cavalry in the rear, that's the Firelock on Populous upset. These men are all taking their time getting down one at a time. Let's knock out both their cavalry units. We've got that Janissary unit surrounded, but yeah, one Janissary unit managed to do that to three infantry units. They're pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we do have reinforcements, but they're not going to be immediately useful. Yeah, we lost a building. Not that I'm overly bothered about that, because there's no one that can interfere with the countdown. You guys can't make it. You're going to get some kills against my cavalry, but you've only got 25 seconds to make it happen. Charge the cavalry into Firelock on Populus. Back them up with my general. Smash. Yeah, they might get a few musket kills. Oh, apparently not. They didn't, mount, they didn't mount this side of the fire step and pour a volley into my cavalry force. But there we go, that was real scrappy. Real scrappy, but it's a win. It's a win, and that is Vienna secured. So, Ottomans, how do you feel about that? Alright, just peace. And they took it. And let's trade. Good! So now you can help pay for all this. Let's get rid of the college. So the weakest units... Well, to be honest, some of our reinforcing units aren't too stellar either. 201, 203, 183, 185. It's better than what it was. Locking down the university will help to a certain degree, but still be minus two. Repair the Imperial Palace, repair this building. Great. Okay, good. There we go. Yeah, we're going to steady... Uh, we're going to stabilise Vienna. Then you are going to go west. When these troops are ready, you guys are going to position, maybe, to attack Britain. Yeah, we've got Graz, but... I mean, I know I've got Orléans, it's only a school, and Graz is a college, but Orléans also has more towns in it that make it easier to handle getting a better school. So at 14,000 next turn, which is huge. So let's hit end turn. And let's see how the AI responds. Ultimately, the Ottomans will declare war on us again at some point. 
but I think that's quite a decisive victory. Uh, no. Ha! So as soon as we secure Vienna, Poland is up to its old tricks. Oh well, we will destroy we will destroy Poland as well. Ultimately our empire now is very strong. The army that's in Hungary is probably not gonna hold Hungary. It's going to be deployed north, and I want a just infantry and artillery, just a fairly basic, not very good army. To garrison the city just to do as much damage as possible to whoever tries to attack it. There goes Sweden. But yeah, overall, things have Peace with the Ottomans is very, very, very useful for us. It gives us a bit of breathing space, finally. And as we aren't yet at war with Poland, we don't have to worry about them yet. Got another rake. So let's send the rake to Königsberg. Keep repairing all these buildings. Replenish Mr. Torba's army. Replenish Mr. Tobelman's army and repair the military governor's barracks, and there's all that money gone. You men can't be fully replenished, but you guys will push up to Berlin to join that force. You men continue west. My cavalry can recombine. To be honest, does Mr. Farber just march over to towards Breslau for war against... Poland, we'll have to keep building up a I have to keep building up another force to respond to any British invasions. Okay, so you've researched new model bayonet drill and you've gone on to diamond formation, and that is a no. Go for carcass shot instead. Excellent. Uh, we don't want to move any of those ships yet. That's a bit risky. But if anyone does land here, we've got someone nearby who can immediately help. Okay. And um, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Just <laughs> forgot it for a second there. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>